2019, uh, that's uh, January 2019 is when I moved to the city of Detroit. Um, again, you mentioned Cleveland, I was working at the Cleveland Foundation. Before that, I was working in the public housing, the uh, Colorado Metropolitan Housing Authority out there doing the connect home stuff. And at the time, the city of Cleveland, uh, the, the, the mayor just did not have broadband on his list. Um, you know, he just was not supportive of the digital divide and even said, you know, there's no such thing as a digital divide because kids have smartphones. Now, obviously, you know, you can judge someone harshly by that sentiment. However, that is the that was the majority sentiment before the pandemic anyway. And so it's like, you know, when I say it, it doesn't date well. However, that was how people were thinking. And so um, when I moved, uh, part of the big reason why I moved to Detroit was because there was an opportunity to work in municipal government. And I was just curious what happens when you have a, a municipal government who is willing to say, hey, full steam ahead. Um, we might not fully understand the scope of the issue, but we know we have an issue here and we might not have funding lined up, we might not have a staff or any of those things lined up, <laughs> but we have an issue. And if we had one person going to bed and waking up every single day um, focused on this, and we had another person who was our you know, chief information officer, Beth Niblock, who's now the uh, CIO for HUD, um, if we had someone internally who was able to take all of the you know punches and haymakers from the mayor when when he didn't understand something that then allowed us to work and so i saw firsthand a night and day scenario where it felt like we were treading water and always swimming around the issue uh you know folks who've heard me talk about my time in cleveland you know we did a lot of great things but i refer to it as a donut model and that we were never really getting to the core player who needed to be engaged which is the municipal government and so now all of a sudden that I am in a you know stronger government structure in a city that obviously has no shortage of its of, of its challenges, getting broadband to be recognized as something that is connected with all those challenges, yeah, that falls on me, but it also falls on leadership to then keep it at that standard instead of like, you know, saying, well, you know, lead lead lines need to be replaced, and that is very important, which again, I agree with that. But to have someone say lead lines need to be replaced, and while we're down there, let's run conduit for fiber that then is leadership in action and it's in a tangible way and that is where i'm like that's the sweet spot if you're in a government that has that type of understanding and nuance with leadership to actually enforce that then it's like okay you might as well go as far as like the boldness of your ideas which is why again you hear us saying a fiber optic open access network because why would we just you know have all that in place and get on first base see jason i made a sports reference too <laughs>